we are back on our journey. I think we just beat um Lefty. Mm -hmm. We did we just beat Lefty in a lightsaber duel? I believe so. All right, all right. I don't know where I am. Yeah, we had a lot of things going on this one. Yeah, um, I had to talk to Bode, and you know that that distresses me emotionally for some reason. I don't know why they gave him this silly run. You know, that's uh, his signature. Well, hello there, pale lady. How you doing? You know what? Let me go back to... I don't know. I don't know why it troubles me that Grease is cooking. Ready to I, go, I, I feel like I shouldn't trust him to cook, but at the <laughs> same time, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> they will be expecting us. Cal and I made it through the Luker hunk, all right? You and I have different definitions of all right. I wonder why Dagon sent Ravis instead of coming here himself. He didn't want to get that word. And uh, again, we're going on the Shattered Moon, so I need something to keep me warm. Oh yeah, this is the cool guy, Kel Kestis. All right. Life's an adventure, not a destination, you know? All right, bruh. It's more of a, it's more of an expedition, would you say, brother? Absolutely. I don't know why we slipped into these characters, but you know. Hey, yo, I have a question for you. What's that? Would you rather be on the Suicide Squad or the boys? Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to be 100 with you. And it's, it's kind of a hard whistling because you got Homelander, which he can kill the fuck out you easily. But then you got, like, uh, Batman, Batman will beat your ass and wish you was dead. So, okay, but I mean, even though Suicide Squad never really like right at Batman, it's still a potential because if you think about it, um, Deadshot he in the movie, in the movie, not in not in the comics, but in the movie, Batman, you know what I'm saying? He almost had that. He always he almost has Batman a lot of times in the comics. Yeah, um but not to where like he is like he's gonna kill him. Batman always has a, a a way to slip out of it. He's never saved by anyone. Nah, he beats the shit out of them or he doesn't to where he gets out. Look at my jacket. Of course I'm gonna be yeah. naked. She leans into that people think she's creepy, and I love that about her. Um. All right. Um, I would go for the boys. Here's why. You're always dealing with unrepentant criminals who will betray you in a flat second. Oh, yeah, oh, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to go with that squad because everybody is um, it's basically evil, and then you still got to get Batman. Like, you you, there's gotta, a chance that you got to... Yeah, because if you tell... Different, I guess because in the way they make it in the board... They're incompetent. Is, they're incompetent yeah. from... They, they are completely... The, the good thing about the Seven is that they're incompetent. No matter yeah. how dangerous they may seem, they're completely yeah. grossly negligent and, and incompetent. And, and, and Batman is unforgiving. 
with his beating. So uh, I feel. I yeah, feel like I'll take see, that there's chance. a calm certainty. There's a calm certainty that Batman isn't going to unalive you, but at the yeah. same time. You've heard of the henchmen that are now paralyzed and can't walk or use any of their limbs because they ran into Batman. So, oh, and, and his beating is always justified. His no, his beatings, his beatings are just because because Gotham police are lazy. Let's be real. No, to be a hundred beatings is just because Batman always seeks vengeance. Well, he's vengeance, he's the knight, and he's been smoking right. Yeah, like, think about what I'm saying. He, I feel like he sees his his parents' killers in every criminal. Oh, <laughs> That's why he's beating no. the fuck out of him like that. Oh, no. Like, um, do you know, know what he bad. did to his parents' um, killer? He murdered him, didn't he? No, he made, he beat this man every day until um, he got tired of it. Then he pulled off his mask, showed him who he was, and he's like, uh, I know you're not going to tell anybody because then you're going to have to admit that you killed Bruce Wayne's parents and made Batman. And the rest of the killers are going to kill, all of the rest of the criminals are going to kill you yeah, because, kill um, you. yeah, because you made their lives so difficult by creating Batman. Yeah, but the boys, at least the guys I'm going up against are incompetent. Depending, depending on what Waller is trying to do, because you got to keep in mind, your boss ain't very trustworthy either. Waller will straight up neutralize you just because she feels like it. It gives her a slight advantage. Who? Even if you, Waller. Who is Waller? The um, handler of the suicide of the squad. She handles the uh, squad. She puts the chip in your neck, and oh, you it gives. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, no. Billy Butcher is not to be trusted, but at least you're still working with M.M., uh, Frenchie, you know, Huey's going to do the right Bush. thing. I fuck with Butch, though. Everybody hate on Butch, uh, and I, I feel like he's one of my favorite characters. Oh, uh, listen. And then Huey. And I, I fuck with Huey because, like, Butcher is the bad, and Huey is the good. The moral compass of the group, I know. Yeah. Yeah. My mother's but you milk need room the... for them to balance that shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but at the same time, oh, not we Huey. What are they doing to we Huey? Oh, Huey. Oh, how much more can they put you through, we Huey? I'm talking about doing is that bad, too. But I don't see Homelander walking away from this season, dude. I, I see him know. walking away, and I see mm. Ryan turning. Ryan gonna mm. fuck around and turn on no. Homelander. Hey guys! Ooh. That boy trying to hit you. Yeah. Big push, big push. I see you done let his head. Went ahead and gave him a different cut. Yeah, this is the uh, casual. This is the casual fun at the beach, Cal Kestis. Ooh! Hey, guys! Huh! So, yeah. Yeah, I don't see. I don't see a way because. Season five, season five in my head doesn't make sense with Homelander there. If Billy Butcher is allowed, like the, you know, if the parasite is allowed to be the villain of the last season, it makes so much more sense. You know what I mean? I mean, but if, if I feel like it was like get what's name really strong to where nobody can control him or or, or beat him, then they'll probably step to where Homelander has to. Try to defeat you, him. Now remember, Homelander doesn't redeem himself and never finishes the comics. Spoiler alert. Yeah. So, yeah, but, Homelander. Okay. Now watch this. The black cannot be. Um. Well, we Homelander. know that. 
we know that the new noir can't beat Homelander because he'll fall exactly. asleep. But not even with that, he but not the same. not the same. He's not a clone, yeah. So, but yeah, he's, not he's not. He wasn't made to be stronger than him, and and now and, we know that Sam isn't the new, isn't going to be the new black noir because he got a new black noir. Yeah, and that's and re that's regrettable, but at the same time, this noir is so much better than the noir we were expecting. <laughs> To be honest, I didn't expect a uh, character to come back. Oh, no, no. They, I, knew, I knew Noir's character was going to come back. I just didn't expect him to be that funny. Like, every scene, bro, he steals. Yeah, and uh, it's not just because of Jesse T. Usher, bro, but I actually like A-Train. I liked A Train for a while, and a lot, a lot of it was the actor um, carrying the character. But I'm like, you know, I can see past level up, and I see why I like um, A Train as a character. Is Ravens talking to me? Cause I'm, I'm just, I'm coming for that violence, for the action. I woke up this morning. And I didn't get enough of vi enough violence from Dag and Gera. I need that from you, Ravis. Yes, we got it. I got a fucking drive my controller. Um. But yeah. It's a lot of that shit, man. I feel like, okay. Um, now, with the Suicide Squad shit, I feel like- I would like, never join that. I would never join yeah. that. I don't care what kind of- No, I need some kind of- I need some kind of guarantee that my head doesn't get popped just because you thought it was convenient at the moment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he's I mean, still yapping and we are not paying any attention to him. We're not done yet. <laughs> No, because listen, I he can say whatever he wants, make all the pretty excuses he wants for uh, working with Dagon. I get that yeah. my Jedi Order is nothing compared to the Jedi Order of the High Republic era, but the High yeah. Republic Jedi are nothing compared to the Knights of the Old Republic. Darth Revan, that boy really put the Republic on the back end. <coughs> oh, I got blasted away. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Yeah, I couldn't find the right place. Yeah. <clears throat> the Jedi and the Knights of the Old Republic, they were, uh... They had classes of Jedi that Sith actually were afraid of. You know what I mean? Your only job yeah. is to wake up, find a Sith, and choose violence. You know what I mean? All of that... Yeah. yeah, all of that peace, um, tranquility. Nah! Nah! You need to pull out your lightsaber, I'm gonna crash out! Stim here. Ready to crash so out. Much, oh yeah, yeah, Jedi Sentinel. Jedi Sentinels, only, all they did was they woke up in the morning and they said, I gotta fight somebody today. Jedi Guardians are like, I feel the same way. Like, I don't care who. Like, somebody's yeah. gotta get these hands. So you, basically, you was ready to go all the way in. Yeah. Jedi Sentinels were like, Listen, I understand the, what the books say. I am well studied on the ways of the Sith. But I also want violence with them to see what they're made of. Going all the way in. Yeah. Which is just, you know, an uh, older term for crashing out. Hmm. The motherfucker said they finna go all the way. Crash out. Oh, uh, yeah. Like... You know, old school Jedi in the um, old Republic, they were like uh, Robin from Teen Titans. They don't care about the Sith safety or their own. Nah, I ain't gonna lie now. That's a, that's a, I probably would choose. If, if Teen Titans? under Robin, yeah, Robin would, he, like I watched the video, like a compilation. Robin used to be a motherfucker's head, bro. First of all, Robin was usually the villain. Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> like nine out of the twenty episodes of the season, Robin yeah, yeah, is the main antagonist. 
Yeah. Red X, but, who so was probably Jason Todd. Yeah, like Red X was Jason Todd, most likely. No, 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 no. Red X was Rob. No, original Red X was. No, I'm then talking about this in in the Titans. Red X was Robin. He just he. That's why Robin was never fighting against Red X because until he Red was X came Red back. X. Until Red X came back, remember? Yeah, now when Red X came back, it was a different suit. Yeah, it was. No, it was the same suit. I don't remember it being. The same. Mm -hmm. That was Jason Todd, bro. Which, which is crazy because it rocked. Jason Todd is, is a baby damn man. No, he wouldn't. Um, when Robin dips out on Batman, that would mean that Jason Todd is the um, replacement at the time. Yeah, so and he's only 12. Would, yeah. And yeah, Robin would and be Robin's like 16. 17. No. Bruh, so I always get... When Robin, when Robin was on... Was Robin was 14 in the Teen Titans. Um, was, Jason Todd is not that much younger than um, Grayson. Like, your your head says he's much younger. That's not the case. Oh, they... Boy. Yeah, they trying to do that. Oh, they did that. They did that. They did that. Yeah, yeah they, started to, they started to overwhelm me. It, it was overwhelming? It was overwhelming. Oh, Face me, coward! Oh, God damn! Whoa, 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 guys! God damn it. Cal right now. Cal, he would have to be around 26 because during wow. um, the last game, he was uh, 18 and he's been on the run for like six, seven years. Well, he's been bringing the fight to the Empire for like six, seven years. All right. And which episode is he done? Um, as of right now, we're still in between three and four. Okay. We're because he's still working with Saul Guerrero, so we're definitely in between three and four. Because keep in mind, Saul Guerrero dies bef right before episode four. So, quick question: Finn have the force? What? Does Finn have the force? Yes. Um, the theory is that because, um, because Chinese audiences wouldn't root for a black protagonist, uh, Finn's role was reduced since to sell the movie in China. All right, let's, let's, uh, slow things down a little bit. But originally Finn was supposed to be force, he's definitely force sensitive because, um, <laughs> Kylo Ren was supposed to put up a better fight against him, but apparently yeah. Kylo Ren isn't that good of a lightsaber duelist himself because Luke wasn't that great of a lightsaber duelist. I'm not, this isn't Luke Skywalker bashing, but the Jedi Order was dead and buried by the time Luke was. Um, well, to be 100, I ain't gonna cap you. You bash uh, Luke a lot, so I'm gonna. I'll, it I'll sounds like that, that, but at the same time, I gotta, re I gotta remind you, I played a lot of Star Wars games. I've yeah. seen I've seen some badass Jedi do some badass things. When it is impressive that Darth Sidious can shock one person, 
when Darth Revan would shock an entire army. I'm not in, keep in mind, I'm no longer impressed that Darth Sidious can do lightning hands. I've seen something way more impressive. I've seen Jedi literally devour the dead to keep themselves alive. So, I'm not impressed when I see Luke get shocked by the Emperor and scream for his daddy to help him. Literally what happens in episode five, six. Hey Luke, keep in mind how that movie ends. Luke is on the ground being shocked by the Emperor screaming, Father, help me! And then we're surprised that the Luke in episodes um, eight has given up and is afraid that the dark side will return. I can see that. That makes sense to me. If if Luke doesn't believe his own hype and he knows better than to believe his own hype, it makes perfect sense that he's not ready to. First of all, he's not ready to face down his sister's son, and then he's definitely not ready to do what needs to be done in a, another battle against the dark side, against the child he helped raise. Mm. Yeah, just a lot to think about when I'm thinking about it, like... I'm just, I'm not, this, this isn't Luke bashing, it's just common facts. Yeah. We can say that I mean, Luke but it is, is Luke fashion, but, but I know you really don't fuck with Luke like that. It, it's not that I don't fuck with Luke like that. Anakin wasn't that impressive to me. Okay, it, quick, another quick question. Why? So why? What was Han Solo thing like? What was like his big power? Because if he didn't yeah. have the Force, why was why the fuck did Kylo Ren have the Force? His mom was Darth Vader's daughter. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Cause what's the name of her with twins? Yeah, they twins. All right. So no, that's not what I'm doing. All right. Let's drag this. Can we cheat? Can we cheat it? Yep, we can. But she didn't have a four. Yes, she did. didn't have a four. In most fiction, um, when Le Leia's a Jedi, she's much stronger than Luke. Uh, you ever played um, The Force Unleashed? No. There's I'm a just dark... going off the movie, off the first one. Yeah, there's a there's a mission where you have to fight Leia on Endor. You, do you remember that she even, like, when she was fighting with the Rebels, it was like she was getting armed with guns instead of, like, lightsabers? Yeah, because, keep in mind, Luke, the first time he went out, he was given a blaster. Yeah, that is true. That's not that is that's, true. that's not uncommon, especially in an age where it's hard to make a lightsaber. Ilum was turned into a, uh, Ilum was turned into a farming, um, a kyber crystal farm, where the Empire took all of the kyber crystals and used it to charge the Death Star. So it doesn't surprise me at all that um, they gave them blasters. Yeah, yeah, they're hard. To, they're hard to make in that time. Yeah. No, it's just a matter of it's hard to construct the lightsaber at this time. Okay, um, what's all this stuff on like the black stuff growing? It's Kobo material. Um right. that's why I had to use that thing I had. It um we probably got it in an older episode. Um it lets me when I connect it to one of those lights, I can burn through the Kobo material. You ready to hurt. Why else would you deceive That's his house? girlfriend, it seems like. You've lost your way. Surrender. And we can figure this out together. Oh, she just thought that nigga was surrender. It's too late for that. Such despair, Santari. Tanalor. You can feel it slipping away. My despair is for you. Tanalor has changed you. It's changed you as well. You ain't going nowhere, boy. Step aside. No. 
She wouldn't dare. You wouldn't dare. Oh. You chop me, duck ass? Yep. Get a medical droid in here. Repair it back to tank. His name must be Skywalker. <laughs> What? Skywalker. I said cut the stuff. Skywalker was what? Oh, they need nigga. You right. Skywalker was about that life. He lost two arms and two legs. Could help us climb the tower. That's what I meant by his name must be Skywalker. Oh, you going all the way? Fight Skywalker then. Crashing up. Oh, I'm about to traverse so much stuff with this. Woohoo! What moving like he just drunk a red bull for real? Bro, what you talking about? I'm on that lit beyond um raw. It makes me itch, but it's it makes me itch, but it gives me the kick I need to get through the day. Oh, there we go. And I missed. I was too hyped. Hey, yo. Imagine Ravis just looks at Santari Cree. I mean, uh, Dagon would have looked at her, looked her up and down and be like, you wouldn't dare. And then immediately she cuts off his arm. And he, instead of saying Tantalor, he's just like, oh, you, you did it? Got it, bro. She went. Hey, listen, when somebody pull a lightsaber on you, the smart, the smart money is to just back off, okay? Especially if they're a friend of yours and you're like, you wouldn't dare. We, we go way back. Uh-oh. Somebody about to get that aerial action. 